module because I was worried the security system was built into the body module. I don't know for sure if it is, and I think I'm going to have to go to the 2004 body module. If you look up how to bypass the skim system, um, it says nothing about replacing or bypassing or reprogramming the body module, so I don't think the security system is built in, and I'm talking about the part where the key has a chip in it when I say security system. Um, and when I did all this, the car alarm still works as far as I know. The 2004... Hi, I'm making a YouTube video. Where was I? That was my wife. Okay, we need the 2002 transmission module. 2002 engine computer and you'll see how much different they are if you try to do this 2002 transmission mount that is this piece 2004 is what's in my hand um, this is where it bolts to the transmission it's got four bolts on the 2002 this is the same width, so this is the 2002 cross member. You don't need it, you want the 2004. 2004 has different bolts and it doesn't have this bend in it. And as far as I know, there is a notch for the drive shaft because they did make a 2004 four wheel drive. Um, and I just use the same cross member, that'd be the front drive shaft. There's also a notch in the cross member that you can't really see that the motor mount's attached to for the front prop shaft. Uh, that cradle holds the four-wheel drive uh, front pumpkin just fine. It's bolted in there. I haven't put the four-wheel drive system together because I wanted to get it running right before I bothered with that. So 2004 cross member. 2002 rear drive shaft 2002 front prop shaft that probably doesn't matter on the front prop shaft um you probably want to check and make sure that it's good because it goes bad after so many years 2004 rear end you could probably use either one but you're going to need that 2002 drive shaft yoke spines were the same on mine they might not be on yours drive shaft shop can fix that but They'll just get you a U-joint or some sort of combination that'll work with your car. Uh, 2002 gauge cluster. It doesn't really matter on that one. I just used the one that has the same mileage as the motor. And you're going to have to pull the security light out because you bypassed the security system. I don't think that's necessary, but I didn't go do that and I'm not going to go into it. I didn't leave it intact. I bypassed security system. So you're going to need to make four-wheel drive work. The shift linkage, um, probably from the 2002. And if it's already a four-wheel drive that you're putting in, putting all this into, the 2004 model year, it's already four-wheel drive. It'll probably have all this on it already. So you're going to want the linkage, the shift lever, the console. Probably don't need the console because there's a cutout in the two-wheel drive console but you're going to want that shift boot if you want it to look nice and let's see I already went over motor mounts are probably going to be no good on both vehicles oil pressure cinder is probably going to be no good um, my airbags don't work I do believe I'm going to have to put the whole airbag system from the 2002 into it I may or may not do that you're gonna want to pull the light out of the gauge cluster if you don't if that kind of thing bothers you um, front pumpkin CV joints prop shafts you're gonna want probably from either model year I don't know for sure 
Um, but I'm going to use the 2002 because that's what fits my transmission. The the what do you call it wheel bearings on pretty much all of these liberties have splines in them as you can see i haven't taken this all the way apart don't have the four wheel drive going in the new one yet but it's all mechanical um there's no crazy computer stuff as far as i know there's a shift linkage and it physically puts it in gear for you puts it in four wheel drive it doesn't have any vacuum controls um, that's a great thing about Jeeps. That's why people love them. And I know the Jeep Liberty is barely a Jeep, but nonetheless, it's four-wheel drive, and that's what we want. So anyway, the wheel bearings, I think, for every model year up to 2007 are the same. And they all have splines, whether or not they're two-wheel drive. Um, it's worth noting that neither of these cars have ABS. Um, that probably makes this easier. I don't know. I think there was an ABS version of this vehicle. As you can see, there's not much going on in that little block there. That's how you know that there's no ABS. Or you could just look in your build sheet if you can get it to load. There's a video somewhere on YouTube about how to do, how to find your build sheet with your VIN number up there. So, you need that extra vacuum line. I already showed you that. It hooks right here. You're going to want to plumb the vacuum line for the EVAP system exactly the way it is in the 2002. And you're going to have to run an extra wire. There's a white wire from this connector here. I didn't, I already taped it back up. There's a blue striped white wire in this connector. You're going to need to tap into that and run that all the way back to the gas tank. I'll show you that in a minute. This also has a white wire with a blue stripe. That's not the one. You want this connector here. It has a white wire with a blue stripe a green wire with a blue stripe and a orange wire with a no stripe and all three of those need to be run to the back the orange and the green are already run to the back but the third wire is not white and blue it is black I think it's solid black and it's a ground on the 2002 the donor body for this kit this project so you're going to have to get rid of that black wire and that's what this is you probably noticed it this is 2002 here's the pin out on your leak detection pump you're going to need the four pin leak detection pump with three ports and you want the orange wire you're just going to want to cut this connector from the 2002 by the gas tank you're going to splice the orange directly into this harness cut this connector off the 2004 cut this connector off the 2002 use this connector orange same green and white same it's already there black is a ground i think it comes up as ground on my multimeter you're going to want to just cut that, cap it off. Um, it goes, I think, somewhere to the body control module. So there's, it's not actually connected on the computer side anymore. There's just a pin somewhere that has nothing connected to it. Um, this here, the white and blue, you're going to have to run that on your own. That's this one. Run it from this connector to the gas tank and splice it into this harness um, so that's the most complicated thing that I had to figure out to make the check engine light go off if it doesn't bother you then it doesn't bother you technically it is required by the EPA not really in this this is Missouri not really required here to pass inspection 
but if you want this to be as close to factory as possible you're going to want that evap system to be intact it's the right way to do it not necessarily the easy way but now I've shown you how to do it so that was the hard part is figuring that out I've never done this before I just obviously I've done this in my backyard I didn't even have an engine hoist I used a sketchy tree uh, that's called shade tree mechanicing if you didn't already know so you don't need anything special for this just some hand tools and I recommend an air compressor and a few air you know an air ratchet and impact a, if you can get a bigger impact get a bigger than a half inch I used a big socket set to get some of these bolts off that were rusted on so vacuum line you can buy it and run it like I did this right here is just air brake tubing because that's all O'Reilly's had and it's solid plastic just like the factory it's a different kind of plastic I think but it is what it is you could run rubber hose I wouldn't do that because it likes to droop and it just looks like crap or you could pull this out of the donor vehicle it's your choice small gauge wire that is this white one here um, some let's see either radiator works I figured that out because I used the new radiator because it was actually brand new from Napa or something like that but it leaked so I had to pull it back out and put the old radiator radiator in um, the the 2002 Jeep has an external transmission cooler um, I might put that on I might save it I might scrap it I don't know yet but the 2000 let's see that's 2004 2002 sorry if I misspoke has a transmission cooler built into the radiator just like most vehicles you can use either or both but don't use neither because the 45 RFE you're probably going to want to pull trailers and stuff it's going to need that transmission cooler it probably needs it just driving back and forth to work let's see here either radiator works they both had a tranny cooler just one wasn't hooked up you're going to want to flush it I didn't because I was lazy and I didn't have anything to flush it with that's what the transmission filters for but it's not the right way to do it already went over that small gauge wires that white one I use the old fan um, I don't need to tell you that you'll figure out which one fits they have different harnesses but some 2002s have a different harness from what I understand gonna want some wire ties I use those for this hose here because it's really stiff and it didn't want to go into these little clip on brackets you can just barely see them there's more in the more underneath the vehicle um, loom when I say loom I'm talking about this stuff anywhere it's bad you want to replace it and I use this because I did a splice on the inside of here that's where I cut my harness you could probably take this cowl cover off if you wanted I just didn't because they break um you're gonna want some watertight butt splices you don't have to you can do it however you want and that's pretty much it here is proof that the vehicle runs I just locked it on accident okay runs just fine drives just fine no check engine light I'm replacing these gauges there is going to be a security light come on probably 
airbag lights is on. I'll figure that out when I figure it out. And that's pretty much it. Um, if I forget something or missed something, let me know in the comments or I'll put it in the comments. Thanks for watching.